Tyler Reddick will be back in the eight car for 2023, and let's talk about who got penalized for track limits. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good this Monday. All right, Richard Childress confirmed that Tyler Reddick will be back in the eight car for 2023. Let's take a look at this article from The Heavy. Well, after they made their announcement, I met, I thought about it a lot that night, gave it a lot of thought, and it's more than just about one person. Childress said during the post-race media availability on July 31st, it's about a team. Stayed up most of the night thinking about it, what I should do, how I wanted to handle it. I went in the next day and told the whole team it wasn't a perfect circumstance the way it went down, but we're going to give it everything we've got this year and we'll see where we go next year. The comment of see where we go next year caught the attention of NBC reporter Nate Ryan who followed up with a question about Reddick's contract status. Childress responded and confirmed that the two-time Cup Series winner will be back in the number eight Chevrolet. So there you go, of course, a lot of speculation that Tyler Reddick would not be back next year and possibly 2311 would go to three teams at least for next year. Uh, while uh, if uh, RCR let Tyler Reddick go, of course, a lot of people thought they would let Tyler Reddick go because they didn't want him getting uh, information and taking it over to 2311. But we now know that that is not the case. And also, it takes a little bit of the uh, excitement about that Tuesday announcement away because, of course, a lot of people thought they were going to announce uh, Austin Hill as the driver of the number eight for 2023. But now we know that's not the case. But they're still going to make an announcement with Austin Hill coming to the Cup Series. So he could be the guy replacing Tyler Reddick or he could be making some one-offs uh, in the Cup Series. But the announcement still has a lot of pop to it. And uh, we will see what happens with that. But uh, definitely not as... Uh, Interesting as it could be if he if Austin Hill was going to replace Tyler Reddick for 2023 But of course we've seen RCR do this before with Kevin Harvick. Uh, he won four wins in a uh, lame duck season So I think they will give their best effort and uh, I think Tyler Reddick at this point has to at least be wondering just a little bit uh, Did I make the right decision because technically he would have three wins this year because you know He, he would have won Bristol uh, the dirt race and he's won two road courses now so he, in the back of his mind he at least has to be uh, like man i hope 2311 gives me the same level of equipment all right the other big thing i missed yesterday or last night with the uh Recap was a few people ran off in the grass, one of which being Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace super polarizing, so whenever he does something, uh, it is amplified and magnified. But he ran through the grass and didn't get penalized. Ross Chastain, another guy who amplifies, he's polarizing. He took off and didn't do the track limits, right? He took the access road, uh, and he got penalized for that. So uh, Austin Dillon and uh, Ross Chastain got penalized for taking the access road. Uh, but Bubba Wallace and a few other guys uh, went into the dirt, and they did not get penalized for it. Why is this a big deal? Because, well, last year, Chase Briscoe went through the grass, and he got penalized for it. Of course, he ended up wreck wrecking Denny Hamlin, and, you know, A.J. Allmendinger got the win. But uh, Chase Briscoe was penalized for going through the grass last year, so a lot of people were like, why didn't you call that out? Well, A, I didn't see it because Bubba Wallace was not driving a car that, you know, uh, uh, the colors of it at least were not normal, so I didn't really catch it at first or whatever. Uh, but also, I didn't really think about it because he wasn't going for the win. I was trying to figure out what was going on, who wrecked who for the win, who cost Chase Elliott, uh, you know, a chance at winning, who cost Ryan Blaney a chance at that second or third place finish he was going to get. So I was looking at all that. But, however, I think the main thing here is NASCAR is going to NASCAR, right? They're going to say that those guys were forced off the track. They're going to say that Ross Chastain and uh, Austin Dillon were not forced off the track and didn't have to take the access road. Uh, so once again, NASCAR is just going to sort of pick and choose as to when it wants to enforce a rule. Uh, it's nothing new. Uh, it's only uh, noteworthy or, or uh, memorable because uh, certain people, you know, if, if you don't like Ross Chastain, you're like, yeah, he should have been penalized. If you like Ross Chastain, you're like, Oh, uh, he was just doing what NASCAR told him to do because, in fact, you know, the reason that the access rule, uh, access road was such a big point of conversation this time is because, well, Chase Briscoe didn't use the access road last year. So now this year, the guys used the access road and got penalized for it, and the guys that went through the grass did not get penalized for it. So, once again, NASCAR is going to NASCAR. So, I mean, what can you really say about it? Their, their officiating is all over the place. Uh, 
And once again, I'm making another video about that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> to end that on a downer, that is all I got for you on this one. If you made it this far, feel free to subscribe. It helps out the channel a whole lot. And guys, I really, really appreciate it. And if you're already subscribed, I really appreciate you too. Uh, if you got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. I try to get to as many of them as I can. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.